closer than two of a kind The bond was almost palpable Solemn oaths with our blood that were signed But Um, the bad news from the looks of it is that I have broken my camera. It should not be this bright. I'm stood in a dark section of the room. If I stand in the window, it looks like this. Maybe it'll edit differently. Um, but while Charlie and I were working out, my camera fell off the cone that I'd stupidly propped it on onto the hard concrete floor. So um, gonna have to order a new camera while this one gets fixed. Luckily I got Amazon repair when I bought this camera and I have sent it back to Amazon for a pair once before. Did take a little while though, so I think I'm gonna have to order another one and just <laughs> rotate between the two. So sorry if all of this vlog, the lighting is gonna be really dodgy and the sound, I noticed when I was editing yesterday's video that the sound was rubbish. Although I'm quite grateful that you can't see in full high definition how I look right now because I look pretty red and blotchy. We just did um, a workout, a 45 minute workout. It was actually my first proper workout since lockdown actually. Um, I've obviously been doing a little bit of Pilates and yoga but that was the first intense workout and it was hot in that space. There was no breeze in the garage. So pretty toasty but a good way to start the day. And then I'm not sure if the camera cut out but we saw two ladies and two sausage dogs walking past our gate so obviously we ran up to talk to them um they live in the village and apparently there are seven other sausage dogs in brails the lady herself was a dachshund back physio specialist i feel like this village is just absolutely we've come to the right place <laughs> i can't believe it oh my goodness um so i'm gonna hop in the shower and it's gonna be a beautiful day. <laughs> unboxing of this delivery and it has come from Urbanara. You might remember that I featured them in a newsletter a couple of weeks ago because they were running an insane home competition. I couldn't resist picking up a few pieces and the first of my two orders has now arrived. Um, the first thing is this absolutely gorgeous cashmere blanket. So yesterday the decoration began on what is going to be the pink room and I thought this would be absolutely perfect it is the most lovely kind of geometric pattern 100% cashmere and it is so lovely and soft and then almost a similar pattern these are kind of outdoor almost like beach towels and I wanted these for when we bring the deck chairs out which is perfect so I'll definitely be having those out today it just means that I don't need to wash the deck chair cushions every single time I can just wash the blankets instead so these are gonna be getting some really good use and then this giant thing over here is a duvet for one of our beds. We don't have many beds in the house yet. In fact, we only have one, um, but we will be needing a lot of bedding. So this is 200 by 200. So I think this is for our super king bed, which hasn't arrived yet. And I'm pretty sure this is some kind of like eco duvet filled with sustainable materials. 
so I'll leave them linked down below and I might even have a discount code for Urbanara if that's sorted by the time this video goes up I'll leave it on the screen and in the description box Yeah, this grass looks quite dry, doesn't it? Charlie and I just returned from our quest to pick up some farm eggs to a flower box on our doorstep and it was this beautiful bunch of peonies. I am now in a peony overload which I'm not going to complain about, they're looking so stunning. This bunch is about a week old, this bunch is four days old and then this bunch obviously is brand new. It's to celebrate the fact that it is National Bee Day today, Bee Day, Day of Bees, and they've sent over two of their most iconic honey products, two of the most iconic products from the Abbey Royale range, the Double R Renew and Repair Serum, which I absolutely am obsessed with, and the Youth Watery Oil, which is one of the most luxurious things you could possibly apply to your skin. It is so heavenly. They have also very kindly sent, I don't know where I've put it, Oh goodness, hopefully I've not put it in the bin. Ah yes, here. They sent over a little packet of wild flower seeds, which could not be more perfect, because as I've mentioned, Charlie and I are going to be doing a little wild flower meadow down at the bottom of the garden. So I'm just going to quickly Google if now is a good time to sow them, and if I literally just scatter or if I need to plant them, and they can go in the garden. Charlie is about to make, what are you doing, darling, scrambled eggs? Scrambled eggs with bacon. Like bits of bacon in the scrambled egg. Yeah. Not unhealthy, not crazy healthy, but I feel like we've need, we need something wholesome. Lovely. And I think I might take all of these blooms into the garden later to do a little floral photo shoot. How beautiful. While Charlie's doing the scrambled eggs, I'm going to start preparing for an iced coffee, which we'll have afterwards. Because we don't have a freezer, I need to have the coffee in the fridge for as long as possible. And I thought it'd be a good way of using up our decaf capsules, so obviously we won't get a buzz from it. But I always think that iced coffee is more like a milkshake treat anyway. I ordered some Starbucks capsules on Amazon, and annoyingly the set came with some decaf. And who ever really drinks decaf coffee? I think it is rather pointless but anyway I'm gonna do a few lungos in the machine um, and pop it in the fridge for half an hour or so ready for us to make some iced coffee later on when you're ready duck another use for my favorite frying pan this is just the best pan it is isn't it yeah it's a perfect size Cheese sauce frying bacon i mean it's good for scrambled eggs if there's just one of you sauteing onions literally making sauces it is the best pan in the world i think that's probably enough darling yeah not the most elegant of angles but charles is currently fixing or actually adding what's it called darling? it's called a jubilee clip a jubilee clip which is what we have been waiting for so that the dishwasher, nope, so that the washing machine um, can finally be used. It's to protect it from leaking, is that right? To protect the well, pipes? It's, just, it's basically just an extra bit of security to ensure the pipe that connects the water mm -hmm. is, um, is going to be nice and secure. secure yeah. So I'm very excited and I have got my washing, my first washing load down here ready to go. 
We have got an audience making sure that Daddy's doing a good job. Uh -huh. What do you think, Dexy? Is Daddy going to do a good job? Well, if it was me, I would actually have used um. Handy Andy. Yes, I'd have hired a handyman. What happened to Handy Andy? We also now have a shelf above the bin for the microwave, which is very handy indeed. For the microwave, we just need a little extension. Oh, Dexy, you can't go in there with Daddy. Oh, what's Daddy doing? What's Daddy doing? I'm so excited. Which of the modes am I going to use? Oh my goodness, probably cotton. But I think it might even tell me what to use. How exciting. So I think after the first wash, I will read the instructions, but I think for towels and my dressing gown, it's not going to be too challenging. Um, you can see up here, the auto dispense has lit up. And so what I'm going to do is start by filling that. So you're meant to put powder in here, um, softener and obviously the detergent in there. And then it basically can read on certain settings how soiled your items are. Um, and then it adds this in according to what it thinks it needs. So I'm going to pop in, this is from Clean Kin Beauty, this is the Neroli Eco Laundry Detergent, it doesn't have any nasty chemicals in it and it smells incredible as you might be able to guess from Neroli. And then in the softener I'm going to pop the Ecova Sensitive Fabric Softener, this is the Gardenia um, and Vanilla and it just smells absolutely divine. If I ever have any marks on the laundry, something really good is vanish. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on what I can only presume is a bit of a lipstick mark. So I selected auto optimal wash for this and it's decided to do one hour and 23 minutes, 40 degrees um, and a bubble soak, oh no not a bubble soak and 1600 spins so here we go. Hello Dexy, have you come to enjoy the first wash with me? You funny little bunny. What do you think, Dexy? So just as I was filming it, it suddenly hopped down to an hour and 16. And I think what it was doing a second ago is actually just kind of testing what was in there. So it's obviously decided it needs a little bit less time. It was doing a very slow kind of sloshing, but I don't think there's any water in there at the moment. Um, goodness me, have you ever found anyone that's so intrigued by a washing machine before? But I'm now gonna leave it to do its business and I'll check back in an hour and 15 minutes. Charlie and I have been making exciting purchases online of toilet roll holders. So we're just going around <laughs> testing where they need to be. This one. Um, it's going to have to go on a bit of wood again. Turn it the other way around? As though the ribbon goes downwards? Yeah, I think that's the way. Is it? Yeah, definitely. Like that? Definitely, yeah. You sure? Do you think it needs to go there or on your other side? No, other way down. Yeah. Or on that other wall. But then it's very visible. Well, it is a bathroom. Do you not think it's like really um, cack-handed to reach behind you? <laughs> yeah, see that's annoying to reach, isn't it? I think on that wall. Do you not just think it's really visible there? Yeah, but it's, it's a bathroom. Yeah. Like there's a toilet in front of it. Right. It needs to go there. That needs a bit of wood as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. When are you going to fix the toilet seat? Well, we need new fitting, so we'll get that right. <laughs> this one, so we need to start on that you've got. This one? Yeah. Oh, I'm just going to screw up now. Um, I think it needs to go... Are these Jim Lawrence? Yeah, they're all Jim Lawrence. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not these, but the, all the ones that have just arrived. I have to admit, 
I it's gonna it have to go there. Yeah, it's gonna have to be an awkward behind you there. It isn't has it? to go there. Yeah. And I think that needs a bit of wood as well. So yeah. All the bits of wood that I've. Um, so should we explain all the bits of wood what I've done? Mm-hmm. So I rescued some offcuts, which were oak from the floorboards that you see here that were in the wood store. Yeah. And I have sanded them down and I have linseed all of them for this exact, well, for some shelves that we've already done. And also so that then we don't have to damage the wall. They can glue the wood onto the wall and then drill this into the wood. So mm -hmm. then you're not cracking the plaster and you're not making as much mess. Great. Tell me, is this the exciting content that you expect from my channel? Going around the house choosing which toilet seat holds. Immediately quick, mate. <laughs> yeah. Title of the video: Assigning each bathroom its toilet roll holder. Oh, I think this one in here. Ooh, no, that one we should put in the um, world's smallest bathroom. What's that one in here? Ooh, actually, I forgot we had two chunky ones. Um, okay, yeah, that one in here. In here, here. Yeah. So yeah. It goes like that. Yeah. Okay. Great, so we don't have too many. This bathroom may actually be too small for a toilet roll holder. <laughs> oh. Well. Yeah. That'll be fine. Will it? But the, the door will still shut. Will it be a bit of a chicane? <coughs> Would it be a bit of a chicane actually getting it? You broken it? No, no, no. Yeah, the only thing is when you go in the bathroom to sit on the toilet, um, will you knock into it? Okay, I think we have a winner. This one is a really cool one that we got on Etsy. It says... Was it or not on the high street, I think? Um, no, I think Etsy. Great Western Railway. It's a nice chunky one to go with a very yeah. old school bathroom. Boom, boom. Great. So, um, that's it, isn't it? That, I just screwed it. Well but I unscrewed the other one slightly as well. change because we are going to take some pictures outside in the beautiful golden hour it is still so warm outside there was a little bit of a <laughs> hold up oh my god it's still going Okay, I'm gonna have to talk over it because it's still going. Um, maybe if I click pause. There we go. Um, yeah, so there was a slight holdup with the washing machine. It was showing error message 4C, uh, which meant that we hadn't plugged in the pumps properly. So Charlie had to get it out again and rehab look at the pumps. But we finally have a successful wash. It's the same wash I put in earlier. And let's see the results of our first wash. Oh my goodness, it feels pretty dry. Gosh, that is surprisingly dry and soft considering it's not a tumble dryer. The next load that I'm putting in is my colours. Um, I put some of my pieces in one of these little wash bags and it stops any plastic particles going into the water stream. I think they're called a guppy bag. This is called a stop micro waste bag. This is normally the amount that I would put in maybe two washes, but because this drum is absolutely ginormous, I think we can do it all in one. Hmm. Okay. 
I never thought I'd be so in love with a washing machine, but oh my goodness, very, very exciting. So I'm now gonna go outside and take some photos and then Charlie has just lit the barbecue ready for dinner.